Hi, so everybody's been asking me uh, about what uh, we call Tie Dajiu or Tie Dajiao in Cantonese. Um, so, the traditionally, Kung Fu schools had their secret recipes and they would make this uh, liniment for uh, iron palm and for bruised medicine, etc. Uh, this is the finished product here, almost finished. There's actually some that you can drink too, you never confuse the two or you basically die. Uh, and uh, most good Tie Dajiu just poisonous ingredients, so the drinking stuff and the uh, stuff for the iron palm is quite different. Um, so, I'll show you how to make some. So, of course, we have our recipes. There's a lot of recipes available online. Some of them are actually okay. Um, they either, it's kind of like cooking. The cook will give you the general recipe, but it'll skip the secret ingredient kind of thing. So, the online stuff is, is, it is what it is. The other thing I'll see is like a really good recipe with ingredients that you couldn't never find, like tiger bone and other exotic ingredients that are either illegal or completely unattainable. So here's my various herbs. For my own recipe, I have about 22 different herbs in here. Um, this is actually a quite, a, quite a bit of herbs, and uh, so it'll make a strong batch. Some people will grind it up. I don't bother. It's just a lot of trouble. A good way to break machines. It'll take a bit longer for the the medicine, medicinal ingredients to come out, but um, I'm in no rush. Much. Again, sometimes I would at least break it up a bit, but today I won't bother for purposes of convenience. Put this in. Now, some people make the tajiao with, uh, with the alcohol, some people make it with wine, some will even make a combo. Uh, different opinions on uh, uh, what's what. Um, in white paint, they actually made a lot of them with vinegar, a special vinegar. You have to, it's like anything else, you have to use the right vinegar, the right alcohol, and uh, and uh, then you. So I'm using the uh, type of alcohol, basically a very strong rice wine. They say minimum three months. I completely disagree. I like the way that at least two years. I find the longer it sits, the better. 10 years it would be really good quality. Strong alcohol, good ingredients, waiting a long time. Those are pretty much the secrets to success, having a good recipe, obviously. Um, I was lucky the recipe was handed down to me. And uh, there's many people who have the uh, similar knowledge. And that's basically it. Now the very important thing to do, which is something I don't always do, is to put a label, what it is and what year you made it, so you don't get confused and mix one medicine with another. So when you're doing your finger conditioning, you should put the Kietaju either before or after or both, depending on how hard you're training. And for our white crane style, we hit with the fingers a lot, so of course we want to be able to grasp and grasp and strike with the fingers, so we need to train them a bit. We'll also train with the with the sandbags and we'll be doing etc. And you train intelligently, conservatively, never too much. Always use a Chinese medicine. And uh, long term you your hands will be uh, slightly harder than most people's.